Swim date challenge, all right? I like that. This is basically my entire budget. <laughs> not even started yet. You bring him in. Oh! oh! These big swim baits are so much fun. Dude, did you see that explosion? That was on the big swim bait. Oh, dude, the hat flew off. Oh, it's a big one. I got two. Oh. Grab a net. Grab a net. I got two. Oh, my goodness. That was insane. Howdy folks, welcome back to another video. I am standing in front of a uh, little DSG right there, Dick's Sporting Goods, and I'm joined by my good friend, Logan Anderson Fishing. What's, What's up, up, buddy? How are you doing? It's been a little while. Yeah, man, Doing it's been a little good. while. Got Andrew over there. What's up, buddy? What's up? Now, in just a moment, we will be walking in that Dick's Sporting Goods for one purpose and one purpose alone. A 1v1 challenge, me versus you, Logan. It's, re it's redemption time. I think I'm 0 for 3. Against I me? 1v1? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm 0 for 3. Look, it's a new year. We haven't fished together in a long time. Today could be your day. We'll explain the rules when we get inside. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you like this style of content. We'll make sure to make more for you. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any giveaway opportunities that might be in this video. Let's get inside. Question, when did Dick's Sporting Goods reduce the size of the fishing yeah, section? It's like less than half, it used to be all the way down to there. I know, it used to be, it used to start there and it used to go all the way down. Now it's just this tiny little corner in the back of the store. Okay, enough roasting DSG. They are a friend of ours, but in today's video. So Logan has a home lake. I've fished this lake with you quite a few times. Now, there are several things to know about this lake. One, there are tons of big fish and we have proven that time and time again fishing it. Two, these fish love swim baits. So you've been hammering them on swim baits oh, lately, yeah. right? I've been throwing the big glide baits. Dude, Six what? inch, seven inch, maybe a little nine inch every now and then. Ooh, a little niner? Dang. Dang. Well, we got Niners coming out. I am I am interested, okay? So what if we dedicated an entire video to throwing swim baits in this awesome lake? We've got my boat, got me and Logan. Let's set out the rules of this challenge. People love the cheap versus expensive challenges. So I thought it would be cool for me and Logan to have a little cheap versus expensive swim bait challenge, all right? I like that. Can't beat a swim bait bite. Can't beat a swim bait. So we've got $50 as one of the options and we have $500 as the other. So I chose those amounts because I feel like the $50 range is only gonna allow you to get a couple swim baits, right? Like you're not, you're not gonna be able to get everything you want, but 500 would almost be like an unlimited shopping spree. So you're the guest on the channel, man. Oh. So I'm gonna let you make the spin. This is for your selection. So let's find out who's getting cheap, who's getting expensive. Dude, that was a spin right was there. Pretty good spin, oh, but you played yourself. It's okay, you know. I've been throwing <laughs> expensive swim bait, so I mean, cheap's good. I'm fine with cheap. I got this. There you go. So I have a $500 budget. I am feeling great about that, by the way. I haven't fished your lake in a long time. You probably have an advantage on me. Since you had the cheap budget, I'm gonna let you go first and spend your $50 in the best way possible. The goal in this challenge, Logan, is to catch the biggest fish. We're gonna put it on the scale. All right, you're up first, buddy. All right, let's get it. I think I think my game plan is gonna be go one big and then like a few small. So if you think about it, the more fish I catch, the more potential of a big one, so. But you're one bite away. In a big bass challenge, you're always one bite away. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my secret combination together. We're gonna start off with, uh, obviously, a little saucy swimmer. Classic, catches fish all year round. And then we gotta find something to put on this, but we're not just gonna get a regular jig head. Is that what you're talking about? A willow vibe. This is actually better. It looks more interesting, I feel like. I've never seen that, so hopefully, this little combination is gonna catch a giant. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like the fact that you have that right yeah, now. Sick, now although I could buy anything, yeah, but I mean, still. You can, you can get the same thing. I don't like that he has that. All right, so right now we almost have $14 that we've spent. So I still have a little bit left. I'm not good at math, so. I think I'm gonna get a big one. I, I feel like I have to. Do it. That would almost be my whole entire budget, but I think it's worth it. I'm a fast sinking kind of guy. We're not floating it around, so I think we're just gonna have to go natural shad look, $35 bait. This is basically my entire budget, but I'm confident in it because this is gonna catch fish all day long. And if we get that one big bite, it's gonna be on this bad boy. Dude, oh, I like the simple approach. In fact, it's yeah, probably seriously. exactly what I would have done. Get one fish catcher and one like you could hit a, you could crack an eight on any cast. I like it. Well, I like what you did there, man, but uh, I've been scouring the sections and I could pretty much get every swim bait in the store and in my budget. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take a slightly different approach than Logan did. You ever heard the saying, less is more? I feel like that's, that's gonna be today. All right, I'm gonna need a basket for this, man. I'm not gonna be able to hold all my stuff like Logan was. Yeah. 
I think I'm gonna start where Logan ended because see, this was his one big item, but we don't have to restrict ourselves to just one big one. Dude, these are kind of crazy looking. What's the difference? Okay, fast sinking, floating. So you said fast sinking was the way to go. I should probably listen to the guy who, who fishes this lake a lot. But here's the thing, I can go ahead and get a floating one too. That's right. Well. <laughs> get a couple of those. I will say the six cents packaging, I'll give it to them. These swim baits, the only thing I don't like about these, why not make this a full window? Like you can only see a little bit of the swim bait. Yeah, it's and, like a tease. Yeah, other than that though, I think the packaging is sick. It looks like an iPhone case. Yeah, yeah, yeah look does. at this. But I would really like to see more of the swim bait, just a personal preference, but hey, gotta recognize real packaging. Game recognized game. Slow sinking, they have that too. So they've got fast sinking, floating, and slow sinking. So, heck yeah, I'll just take uh, one of each, right? Perfecto. Might even come back and get some backups, who knows? Where's some saucy swimmers at? I think they're right where'd, here. Where'd they're that there. boy find them saucy swimmers at? Oh, they got one pack of 3.8s left. I think I'm also gonna make sure I have some paddle tail swim baits because, I mean, Logan's right, it's a fish catching machine, but I won't rig it up the exact same way to at least have a little bit of integrity in this challenge. See, I think I'm just gonna do some regular quarter ounce, no flash, simple. I wanna win this thing like a man, straight up. I don't wanna have to copy what he did, you know what I mean? I dig that. Dude, look at my ankle. You wanna see a white person. Look at that ankle right there. Look at that red ankle. from yesterday? Dude, just from yesterday. This one's even worse. Well, no, actually, no, that one was bad. Dang, dude. When you burn your ankles, that's how you know it's bad. That's fact. This smaller section is really killing my vibe right now. Because we, we lost like 70% of what they had. At least, dude. There was so much more stuff here, and now all of a sudden there's just not that much stuff. Well, I might as well give the old mock baits, these little swim baits, a try, right? Yeah, I might as well. Patroller. Well, I couldn't read that word for a second. I don't even understand why I'll that struggle with that. So they got the mock shad and the oh wait, the patroller is a topwater propeller bait. Wait, what? Dude, no way. They've got the they've got packaging, they've got baits in the wrong packaging. Look at this. No way. That's the patroller, the top water, and they have a swim bait in the patroller box. What in the world? Rookies, dude. I'm not trying to call mock out or anything. I'm just saying, like, what in the world is going on here? I thought I was tripping. Okay, well, we'll take a couple of those just to give them a shot. Definitely gonna get some contenders, right? Some junior contenders and any big ones if they have them. The Guggen swim bait. I'm not even doing math at this point. I'm just kind of throwing stuff in. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stay within the $500 budget just because of how little the selection is. Let us not forget about the baby bull shad. I bet you Logan wishes he had one of these. Dang <laughs> it. This is actually the bull gill. So we'll get one of the bull gills, which is like the blue gill. And then we'll, oh yes, it's my favorite color. The bull shad, bro. Logan, you are going down, boy. I'm still calm. Let's see, what about the little sleeper gills? Look at that little thing, that's kind of cute. Yeah, it is. That actually looks hella realistic. Like those yeah, really small brim, how colorful and bright their bodies are. Yeah. That's kind of, that kind of goes hard. I think I'm gonna actually have to try that just because of how cool it looks. Also got some mag drafts down here. I should have a dangerous swim bait by now, the new Guggen or Bass Mafia product, but they don't send me anything, so. I guess I'll just use the mag draft, which is kind of what that bait looks like. That's one of the most awesome swim baits of all time. Soft body, got a little magnetic strip down there that holds the treble hook. Great design, great swim bait. Basket looks mighty cool. How's that make you feel? Man? Look at all. Honestly, this. I think of it as you're not gonna know what to pick up and throw. You're gonna have so much. Me, I got two rods, and that's one way to look at it. Good way of thinking. Yeah. I like the positivity, Logan. Yeah. I really do. And I mean, hey, at the end of the day, cheap versus expensive. It's one bite, guys. This is a big bass challenge. One bite's all it takes. We got all of our stuff. We're gonna head out to the lake. We're gonna launch the boat. We're gonna get completely rigged up. That way we don't have to mess with all that out on the water. That way we can get straight to fishing and we can start this challenge. Now, the loser, oh, Logan. Gosh. <laughs> now, me and you are both sunburned, so this doesn't even sound that bad. Okay. Loser has to swim home, okay? All right. Gentleman's bet. Sounds good, sounds good. See you guys out there. I can't swim, though. That was crazy. Look at this. Uh -oh. Yeah, solid start. Just stay on. Oh my god.
way. Yeah. Oh, That's me. what we need right there. All right, I feel pretty good about the challenge. You know, budget doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, dude, 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 I just got crushed. Oh, on my swim bait. Holy moly. We just got to the lake and there was huge fish blowing up all down the bank right here while we're getting rigged up on the boat. We both just smacked Dude. good ones on the swim bait. Jeez. <laughs> Not even started yet. I'd say the challenge is officially underway. Yeah. And that's the new big mark to beat. We I just... mean, as soon as it hit the water, he ate it. I don't even know how he had time. Well, I'd feel comfortable calling that a three and a half without a scale on us right this second. We're gonna get one. Literally about to go get a scale and then <laughs> mayhem happens. I think the swim bait bite is on. Let's go. Sick, dude. We're in the lead. That's all I need. Well, as you guys can see, the uh, challenge is already underway. Like, we've already got the gauntlet thrown down by Logan, who is tired of getting embarrassed on his home leg, apparently. I didn't even know I was 3-0 and against you, man. You don't have to take it so personally. Oh, it's and personal just at this point. Come with the vendetta <laughs> like you are right now, man. Coming out with a three-pounder in the first 60 seconds of being here, that's, uh, that's throwing down the old gauntlet. Well, I went and rigged up a bunch of my swim baits beforehand, so I got the mag draft and this little green muscle combo right here, and I got the baby bull shad on this little go-to goal combo. Look at Logan, he's already fishing back there. He's like, hey, Logan, I'm gonna hit the good spots ball. first, you know? I got my two big swim baits right here. So the one that I just caught that fish on was this one. This is that six cents floating swim bait. So I put that on a big old XL combo with braid because it's basically like a topwater lure is kind of how I'm thinking about using it. Then I got my other big swim bait that's actually a sinking swim bait. Got a little bit of a sunfish, rainbow trout, bluegill thing going on. I dig it. Logan, so, oh yeah, you only had two lures, so you wow. got your two lures rigged up? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> that's that's what you got going on? Yeah, I got a big one, and then I got my saucy swimmer. Let's see, so you're throwing that big, and I'm kind of inclined to do the same thing. I mean, we just saw those fish schooling up shallow, just pummeling bait, so I guess I should start with old Big Daddy Topwater here. Not gonna lie, it's a good looking swim bait. So she does float, and she just does one of those right there across the surface. Creates a little bit of a wake, multi-jointed. Oh yes. The only thing that might affect the bite a little bit, Logan, is the wind, man. The yeah, wind, it's, it's, it's not ripping. It's not really good to have a lot of wind when you're throwing swim baits, but it's not necessarily a bad thing either. I think since I'm already in the league, I'm gonna throw this one and just get some fish on the board. Let's give the old rainbow perch a shot this one actually sinks let me get down there on top of some of these beds that i'm seeing a little bit off the bank oh or i could throw a big bird's nest with my thumb too i just kept thumbing it even though it was hurting Ooh, i'm on oh, oh he's a pip squeak it's okay we're still in the league so <laughs> hey i'm gonna take what i can get little guy not gonna help that mag draft looks so sick in the water yeah, I just got cranked on the mag draft. See, that's my only complaint with the mag draft has always been the hook is so far forward. No way. If he's on, he's tiny. I think I have one. Oh yeah, he's running straight at me. Oh. Oh? Okay. Good Lord, is he big? No, he's not big. But he's, he's better than that last one. That was a crazy fight. I mean, that's probably not a bad stole one. that one from me. That's probably the one that just bit me. Ow. I've got them all right in the top of the nostril with this hook. This thing's pretty sticky. Oh, guys, got, yep. That was the craziest thing ever. He is running so hard, man. Is it a good one? Uh, he might be. He's if it is, I'm, I'm not getting the net, so good luck. Oh, it is a nice one. It's gonna be a contender for sure. Watch yourself, Andrew. You bring him in. Oh! oh! You daryled him. <laughs> I daryled him so hard. Whoa. Nice. That's almost probably exactly three and a half pounds. That's a dummy dude right there. That was crazy. I saw the lure land. And I could still see it, you know, through the water because the water clarity is not that bad. So I reeled it like two times. It was moving forward and all of a sudden it just went and just disappeared from my sight. And oh, I took out the slack sick. and that fish was on there. Look at how fat that fish is, dude. That's awesome. 3.32. So I, his, yours is probably bigger. I will say his is bigger than that. I will concede that his was a th pure three and a half. Mine's a, like almost a three and a half. Still beautiful fish, tummied up. 
Let's let her go. She's probably doing her spawning thing. I don't want to disrupt it any more than I have. Three and a half pounds, still the mark to beat. But these swim bait bites are so crazy. I mean, we've had a couple epic bites a piece already, and we've barely even made it through a tiny part of the lake. That was such a sick eat. I got to watch it. And then he just knocked an enormous amount of slack in my line. I was, oh. <laughs> the mag draft. This is not going to be bigger than three and a half. I just like to see it though. Look at how he ate it. Nice. My guy inhaled it. Yeah, it's way down and I need some pliers. All right, we don't need to weigh him. Remember when Logan said he was a little scared that I had this bait? Yeah. He was right to be. There's one. Oh. Not bad, not bad. That's oh. Good. Okay. That's a good one. Wow. I don't think he's going to beat what's, what's winning, though. Come here, little buddy. Okay. Okay. Dude, nice. That's a good one. The little saucy swimmer just always gets it done. Not a bad. Head. Should we weigh him just so I have a weight? Because uh, I'm totally on you. And well, I'm just gonna keep the keep the one the first one. Say we're taking the dub right now. Thank you. How you feel about that, Lojo? Hey, look, you're only ahead of me by like 0.3 pounds right now, so I'm feeling I'm okay. I'm just now finding my swim bait flow for the day. I mean, I'm still learning all my different lures. I'm still learning where they excel, you know, where they don't excel. I'm, I'm dialing it in. You just give me 20 more minutes and we'll see who's in the lead. Oh, he got eight. Missed it. That's weird. Just got smoked by a stump right there, but he didn't get the hook. That's twice I've been like short struck, you know? The hook sits like right there, but you got all this back here. So if a bass just comes up and eats tail, he's not gonna get the hook. So I think that's happened to me twice now today. All right, well, that might be a sign it's time to switch up for a little while. I think I'm going to go with the ultra smaller presentation and this real thick cover. Little baby bull shad. I'm on. He ain't, he ain't big. He ain't going to break the tie. Or actually, it's not even a tie. One on the bull shad, baby. All right. But hey, real shallow. That's the thing about this. You can get super shallow with this. It's a slow sinker. And it's so small in profile, you can just get it in places where bass are hiding almost. They might not even be hungry, but you just get that bait right in front of their face. And instincts kick in. And they eat. Yeah, I'm going to catch a Gigantosaurus Rex right there. Pro tip. Let those rings go away. When you have a big, loud cast like that, let that thing sit there completely still until those rings are gone. Then you go ahead and give it its first action. A lot of times you can get to strike right there on your first action after sitting still. Make it a little run. You remember what happened over here? I do. Well, we've had we've had several memories over here, I think. Like there's been if I had to say one spot on the lake that we've caught big fish at the most, it's probably right here. It, this is where it could happen. Quick little update. So, about halfway through the challenge, we've caught fish on a, a few different swim baits. We got a nice little bit of diversity going on here. I still got a couple more that I'd like to try. But we are entering this cove right here that you guys just heard us talking about. It's a big bass cove. So let me shut up and keep fishing because as of right now, I'm still losing. Oh, dude, I forgot my good luck gloves, man. You didn't say anything. I forgot. I forgot. I'm so summer that I had to steal a pair of Guggen Squad gloves. Bet y'all didn't even know we made those because I didn't either until about a week ago. Here, mag draft. I need you for a second. But don't I already look like a better fisherman? Just like in a matter of seconds? You do. I mean, I feel better. Matches the shirt too, the white and white. 
Oh, got one. Dude, I put the gloves on, catch a fish. I'm trying to tell you guys. And I made a switch to the mag draft, which was probably the leading contributor. See, the nice thing about the gloves is you can just grab the fish a lot more freely without having to worry so much about getting spined or stabbed or whatever. Mag draft. Get out of here, buddy. What are you, what are you thinking, man? This is a big bass challenge. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's not big. Watched him come out from a brush pile. I tell you what, this is awesome. They keep getting hooked in the exact same spot with the mag draft. Oh, here you go, Andrew. Oh, nice. It got on my leg. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't actually trying to put it on you. I was wondering the whole time what I was getting wet with, and it was just pee. Just pee, man. It's fine. Logan, I got the gloves on, man. You better, uh, you better watch yourself. I'm kind of feeling myself right now. I'm a little scared over here. The last time you have gloves on out here, I'm pretty sure you caught like 30 fish. So. I believe you're right. Guys, it's April and already our GoPros are shutting off due to overheating. This is like April the 7th or something like that. It's how hot it gets down here as, as early as the heat comes. It's just crazy. We don't even get a springtime here. It's literally just early summer. That was a cool bite. Too bad he's a micro fish. I mean, if he had seven more pounds to him. Yeah. I think he lost oh, a few pounds coming in. That's a good one. Oh, dude. Maybe. Come on. Dude, what an awesome eat. I think it's like the same size, like three, three and a half. Oh, there's like three with him, Logan. Drop your swim bait down. <laughs> dude, that, did you see him? There was two other ones with him that possibly were bigger, actually. Well, that's like a three pounder. Wow. I'm glad we went through this cove and didn't get skunked because I was kind of losing some confidence while wow, that came right out. Also, my wire's showing. The mag draft is putting in work today. It's not going to beat three and a half. It's a, it's a three, maybe a two and three quarters. They're all healthy. The eats have been phenomenal, but not going to help us. Thank you, buddy. See ya. Stay cool. Dude, this thing is just like torn its way out of the body. Yeah, it's been putting in work, dude. Yeah, but that's not good. Now it's like freaking up. You so I don't know if this thing's going back together, dude. Dude, you might you rip the magnet out. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. Holy. Look at all that fry. See, that's where I cast it. I was like right there. So that could have very, very easily been the male and the female could have could have came out with him. The two that came out with him were bigger than him. That, I, I can say that like definitively. <clears throat> I got no choice. Got to go back to Big Daddy for the time being. I need a big one to come rock my world real quick. I need it. The morale needs it. Oh, that might be, that might take a lead right there. Dude, did you see that explosion? That was on the big swim bait. Gotta get him in though. Oh, dude, that, that's gonna be so close. I still think it's just a three. They shrink so much, man, in real time. Wow, look at that, dude. These big swim baits are so much fun. Killing it, dude. Top water. This is that floating one. I used it specifically because I wanted to use it like a top water lure. He gave me the top water blow up I was looking for. I just thought he was a lot bigger by how he attacked it, you know? And Logan's oh, on with a, yeah. Logan is on with an absolute giant. So let me get rid of this one. I, don't, I might need a net for this one, you New leader? Definitely new leader. I think what I'd like to try is the old contender. I didn't buy this in the store, but I actually had it in the boat. And since I had an unlimited budget, well, I mean, basically an unlimited budget, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in. I'm also going to tie on this little mock and uh, kind of see what those two, how they stack up. Logan, are you gonna make any um, lure changes or? Oh wait. You can't. Oh wow. <laughs> Sorry, I, Sorry I, I forgot, and I'm embarrassed about that. I apologize. Yes. All right, Mr. Contender, let's see what you had to offer. Oh, backlash. <laughs> let's go. Look at that swimming action, dude. That's huge S wave, side to side. It's got such a wide swim. It's pretty. I think this would be a good time to tell you, I've never caught one on the contender out here. Well, 
I am glad you told me that because I'm about to change all that right now. Logan, I will point out you've definitely caught more fish than me today, as well as the biggest fish and on way less options. Oh, I think they're holding like super tight to cover. And with the swim baits, it's, it's well, with most of them, it's kind of hard to, to get really close to that cover. Oh, you just get eaten? Yeah. I wasn't I even looking. That. Whoa, that was an interesting. King of the dinks back here. Jeez. They like the paddle tail. Gone. Choked it. I don't even know how he ate it because I looked away. Dude, I got hit. He missed it. I twitched it. Oh, it's a big one. Dude. I got two. Grab a net. Grab a net. I got two. Oh, I shook one loose. Dang it. Oh, my goodness. That was insane. Boom, I'm pretty sure I just took the lead there, Logan. Dude. In the last two minute warning, my guy. Guys, I just had two on the I contender. Saw that, dude. That, that was, was sick. crazy. I'm pretty sure this was the bigger one, though. So I'm glad this is the one that stayed on. That was insane. Oh, that was awesome. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get to land that fish, but I'm pretty sure this just took the lead. That's bigger than a three and a half. We're gonna scale them real quick. We're gonna make sure. We got 412, the new mark to beat. I don't think that scales regulation. Damn, that feels good. Awesome, dude. Boom, folks. Doesn't really look like a four pounder. It's a very long fish, but not like super huge. Really nice fish, though. Big old mouth. Got snagged with his partner out there, that man. That sick, dude. Two fish on the swim bait. That is insane. That's why we throw swim baits. We'll let that one go. Right back where they came, that was a nice entry right it there. It was, dude, like a torpedo. Dude. Boy, I, I thought for a second it did too. No. They must have been hot after that thing. They were. To get, to get two bass on this bait, that means you got one coming from here, one eating it head first, and they both got hooked. That's nah, sick. Dude. That is insane. <clears throat> well, Logan, I gotta give you this. You're a man of your word. Because right now, as we speak, I'm driving out to the middle. The highest likelihood of an alligator will be out here. And drowning. And drowning. But I think this is a good opportunity, you know, for yeah. you to build a little character. Exactly. You, know? you gotta jump in to swim. Isn't that the same? Something like that? Well, I think it's sink or swim. Uh, but yeah, that's the best one. Is this 0 4 versus me? I think so. All time. But I should mention, Logan and I just did a video for his channel. He might get vengeance on me, he might not. It's at least another opportunity, so make sure you guys go check out his channel after this backflip cannonball double somersault gainers. Aren't you like super athletic? Can't you do like a, like a standing backflip? Yeah, I used to. Now I've gotten old. I'm used to. I'm gonna go off the front side more running room. Okay, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what was I, was, that? I was thinking of a way to approach it, but I didn't really find one. Well, we're in 11 foot of water right now, so that's some comfort if you dive head first, I guess. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, dude, the hat flew off. Dude, that was sweet. Where my hat right go? there. Right there. I don't know if I can swim. It's kind of scary, not gonna lie. Oh, it's really cold at my feet. I'm gonna race you back. Dude, he's swimming pretty fast. Yeah, he is. I mean, my trolling motor battery's dead after four hours of use for some reason. Let me put it in turbo mode. Oh, we're getting on it now. All right, well, that was a fun challenge. Big shout out to Logan Anderson Fishing for helping me out. It was really fun. Check out his channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you like these videos. You guys know the deal. Andrew, anything else? I think that's it, buddy. All right. See you guys next time. Bye.